this is uh, another YouTube review here on 1967 Spud. This time I'm reviewing a new type of uh, case tumbler. This is the uh, stainless pin type from uh, stainlesstumblermedia.com. Uh, I'll put the web, uh, the, uh, the address up on the website. So what I've literally about ten minutes ago just had a po uh, postman deliver this. Um, there's another package to come. When I ordered, I ordered the whole kit. And I've got a uh, media separator to come. So once that come, I'll uh, um, stick on the uh, same film as well. But here we are. I thought I'd just... Uh, you'll actually see me unpack it. I haven't opened it at all yet. It's just got the shipping label on it. I've got a craft knife. And we'll uh, see what we get between us. First of all, I'll just take this packing label off. Just in case I need to send anything back or if there's any problems. Keep that. Not bad delivery. I ordered this um, online about last Wednesday, and that's now uh, Thursday. So that's, I mean, it's come from the states into the UK in about just a little over a week. I don't know if you can see that. It's all well packed. Seems like we've got a base plate here. As I say, in time all the. I don't need that. I've got a load of pamphlets here, so I'll look at them. Ah, the nice people have sent me a nice t-shirt. Thank you very much, boys. I've found, um, I've had a lot of emails off them, and uh, I mean, they've, they've been absolutely a delight to deal with. Um, I knew the situation about the uh, media separator when they ordered it. It was out of, out of um, stock. Uh, they've emailed me twice to give me a confirmed delivery date um, and they confer they told me more or less which day I was going to receive this so I mean the service from them is unbelievable so uh, we'll press on got the t-shirt what else have we got in here we got a box of Lenny Shine which is an additive fuel used for the water later on in the DVD I'll go on to show you how to use it once I've sussed out myself I say this is the foot as you can see it's all a learning curve We've got the base plate which the motor will have fixed there I imagine and then the tumbler will go around that way. Obviously in the UK here we're 240 volts and this will be, I think I've ordered the 110 um, unless they sent the European one. Uh, in which case I'll just need an adapter for the electric so that's not a problem. What else we got here? By the way Tom, I'm guessing this is the pins. There are stainless teal as opposed to a normal case tumbler, which is like walnut, media, or flat uh, corn cob, these are little tiny, tiny stainless pins. I don't know if you can see them, the light hair isn't too good. Um, what pisses me off about normal tumbling is every time you take this media out, right, you have to go through every single case and make sure you've got nothing stuck in the primer pocket in the flash hole. Hopefully with these pins will alleviate that. They, they told me that they shouldn't stick in there. Plus, um, the advantage of this is, as it's a wet cleaning process, you're doing the same as an ultrasonic cleaner. These will uh, clean the inside of the case as well, so all your volumes of the cases should, you know, you don't get a carbon build-up and your volume decrease and your pressure go up. So from case to case, to shot to shot, to reload to reload, should be more consistent. That's the pins. I've got yet another instruction manual in various languages, so I'll put that on the list. Don't need that. And I'm guessing this large box in here, as you can see, will be the drum and the motor. Right, as you can see, there's nothing in there, I'll keep that. Just leave that in there for now. Drum. One last drum, which goes up that way. Hopefully, there'll be something inside it because otherwise, I might need that. I'd imagine all the gear is inside it. Right, 
I'll have to get some spare wing nuts and washers because I know what I've got. At some point, I will lose them. Yeah, everything is inside. See what it is? It's a metal drum that goes round, and it's got a rubber lining creating a water seal and everything goes in there but as I say I'll go on to show you all that. Got the I've got more wing nuts and washers for the top, six uh, fasteners, and inside we've got the motor. Oops. There we go. So I'm going to need to fix this the hook uh, and that is it. Empty. So we've got the base plate to hold them up, we've got the steel pins, uh, we've got the lemmy shine, which is the uh, like the cleaner, and we've got the motor. So I'll go ahead and read the instructions now, get it uh, put all together, and I'll come back to you and I'll show you what we've got so far. <laughs> right guys, right guys, you can see this is uh, it's all together now. Um, Got all the wing nuts on. It simply slots on like that. It can't go anywhere. Um, the motor's on. Uh, is fixed on by two front-facing threads with the par lid going down, so you know it's orientated right. There's a rubber band that'll actually go from the pulley onto the flywheel, thus spinning the thing. I did have a little crisis. Um, I usually n not normally use one of these. For anything American because we're in the UK um, I, was, I had a bit of a heart attack when I got a plug like that but I didn't realize you could get a plug like that so you will need one of these as opposed to one of them okay so be wary that if you're ordering one in the UK you're easily this cost me three quids which is I mean it's nothing I plugged it in and nothing happened at first then I realized I've got a switch on them as well so you know they are idiot proof but not maybe it's not spread proof so uh, what I'll do now, I'll just sort of show you round it. Um, that's it without the motor on. This weighs about ten pound. Um, I have emailed Corey just about uh, just a query about what these back studs here. Whether it'd be better to make a bit of a bracket up. Um, I'm working on the process that it obviously doesn't need it. Otherwise, I would provide it. But I just wondered if that would give it a little bit more support there. But I've emailed out and I'm waiting for them to come back. So as soon as I get an answer, I'll let you know. It may even be just an idea, just make a, a bit of block of wood, and just so it just you know picks up the back of this. But I may I may have something missing. So at the moment the verdict's out on that. But apart from that, I'm well impressed with the quality of it. It's all good quality and it's nice and heavy, nice and sturdy. I've turned the motor on, and it's not too loud. It's a bit louder when you start tumbling. Um, but what I'll now do is, um, the light isn't very good here at the moment, so I'll find a nice light bit in the, the house and we'll actually uh, set set it going for three or four hours. Um, and then I'll go through the process, uh, what you need to do with it. Um, one thing I will say is I did find the instructions very good and they're quite comprehensive. And there's loads of info on the site. So if you go onto the, uh, to their site, I'll put the link back up in my description and also on the film here. Uh, all your queries and technical answers are answered there. So that's what that is so far, and that's what it is together. So uh, I'll, I'll reposition everything so we've got a decent bit of light, and then we'll actually put some cases in and see what they're like. Okay, uh, you can see we're now going to load the machine up. I've put it all together. That was ever so easy to do. No complications. Um, I've used it once just to give give myself some idea of what I'm doing before I've done the film work. So I've got my pins are in there. There's five pounder pins in there. Uh, you need some brass. You need about two pounds of brass. In this case, I'm using three hundred wind uh, wind just sort magnet. And they are very disgustingly dirty. They're all in there. You need two tablespoons of. A non a pH a, a zero pH value washing up liquid is best, and I'm using Ecova, which is available here in the UK. So it's two tablespoons of that. 
<clears throat> that will give you be a cleaning agent and then sort of film the water up and that. Don't need that anymore. That smells nice as well. You need a quarter of a teaspoon of blemish shine and this just helps with your the hardness in your water. So it's about a quarter there. A lemme shine. I'll just swing that round to where are we? There, you need to fill it up with cold. If you use hot water, you could end up with stain and on your cases. You fill it up with cold water to about three quarters of the of the height I found is best. So about there you can see the detergent is already firming up. Just swing the camera back. Right, on goes the lid. The six washers. Six wing nuts. I found that these don't have to be stupidly tight, they just need to be enough to cinch the rubber seal down on the lid against the uh, seal of the body liner. And they're nice and hand tight. Right, just before I go on, just a word of what I found out here. <coughs> I had the, the actual base and the motor on the workshop at first, turned it on, walked away. About two minutes later, it had travelled across the worktop and hit the curtains and started dragging things off here. So I put it on a tea towel. Oops. It's on a straightforward tea towel. I mean, that'll stop it vibrating you know a lot of washing machine will cross a room cross the room so anyway that goes on that goes on like that there's two on the back here there's two guides that go inside the two wheels which they go like that I've found it best just to spin it and dry these runners off because that will stick otherwise it sounds ghastly right it's all plugged in turn it on and uh, let me just put on that bit. With a switch on the lead. You can see that stuff. I just need dry on. As well as the rubber things that make the round are spinning on it. Let me just turn that off. Same when you're filling these up, I'm oh, not getting wet. But. Try that. Yeah, now it's getting dry now. There you go. It's got grip now. It's got traction. So what we'll do, I'll leave that for. I find in three and a half, four hours is best. And um, if you use hot water, if you want to go down at road day, day, you can do them in a shorter time. But um, cold water works best for me so far. So I'll, I'll leave that and we'll come back and see how the uh, shells are looking. Okay, that's been um, about three hours going now. Just been quite happy. The mirror is sort of nice and warm, but not, you know, not overly warm, it's got good ventilation. Um, what I'll do now is stop it, and uh, I'll just replace the camera, and we'll see uh, what, what the results are. Oh, you can see there's a nice bit of pressure in there where the washed up liquid and that is filled up.
I don't know if you can swing and see, but if I just swing the camera to the right, I've got a tea towel there. Just ready for putting the cases on once they're dried. Once I'm, uh, you know, because I'll air dry these. You can use a hair dryer on them just to dry them. But I've um, been told that air drying is plenty good enough as long as you just, you know, get as much water off as you can. Right, um, let me just move this camera again. I'll move it over the sink so you can actually see how much uh, what the quality of the colour of the water is when it comes out. Another useful thing you'll need is a sieve. You may need a sieve like that just to uh, catch your cases. But if you're careful, you should be able to just decant the water off. You said the water was disgustingly black, all that carbon. Be careful you don't lose any little pins. I have been using a magnet in the sink just to pick them up when you're the odd one you spill. Well, right, that's most, most of the crappy water out there. More pins. Give them a quick rinse. Just get out of all the suds, then we can rinse the uh, cases properly. I should just get rid of all the suds so we can see what we're doing. Off. You can see the brass is in there. You ain't gonna be able to see it in here because that, I mean the camera wouldn't do it. But them shine, them sides are as shiny. The insides are as shiny as the outsides. Look at the primer pocket. Just rinse one off as you can see. I mean that brass is like new. Anyway, we'll uh, take the handful out. Well, one thing I have noticed: if you're using six and a half mil stuff. You gotta watch that little um, bits of the stainless don't get caught in the neck. They're just the right length. So all I've been doing is getting a, a little prodder, a little Allen key thing, and just pushing it back in, tipping them out, and uh, discarding them. You also got one thing I should say is when you take these, just move this round. As you can see, what I'm doing here. Once you take these out of the tumbler, just make sure they're empty. So I'll just tip them back in there. And we'll work my way through a load. I'll drop out quite easily. In the cap. And hold them upside down, you can see. I think with these 7mm, um, they shouldn't be such a problem. I 
I haven't had any yet. I'm checking them as I go along. You can see that they get, because obviously they get inside the cases. As you can see, or hopefully you can see that, we'll just check. I'm dropping them into the sieve. So I've got about maybe 15 or 20 in there. And it's back over to the cold tap. Just angle it down a bit. There you go. And give them a good rinse. That'll knock off all the soupy suds. It'll knock off whatever residue is in there, plus any stain and cold water won't stain. If you use hot, as I said before, if you use hot water in these, when you dry these, they stain ridiculously. Do any carbon that's just on there. That'll just do them. Turn it on, give it a shake. Fill water as much as possible. And then what I'm doing, I'm swing them round to the tea towel. Uh, and leaving them like that. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll just turn the camera off, you don't need me to see me do these. I'll do um, another load and fill up the tea towel, then I'll show you that bit, next bit of the process. Okay, you can see we've got the whole complete load here. Every now and again I'll give it a ruffle round. I'll just leave it there to I'll come along in maybe a quarter hour's time and give it another ruffle round. Just to take all that moisture off. That's quite humid here at the moment, so that'll, that'll take a day to dry, but you won't get any marks on them then. Right, with regards to the case, uh, you know, the tumbler, you can see I've got all that. Let me just turn that round so I can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I've got all that soapy water in there. So all I merely do is run a tap into it, not too much, just give it a swirl round. And I'll agitate all the uh, stainless pins, which, ooh, which are now washed. That will take all the carbon out of them. The cleaner you keep them, the easier the next time you use it will be. Like that. And then I'll just drain all the water off. It doesn't matter if they're wet because it has been stainless, they're not going to take any harm. I'll just drain off as much water as I can. <coughs> That's practical. And uh, I'll bung, just give it a little wash, quick wash, get rid of all that crap. Bung it on and store it as like that. I'll do the wing nuts back up. I'll do the wing nuts back up, you know, put the wing nuts back on. But I'm now going to do another load, so uh, that's about it really. Um, I'll turn the camera on in a couple of, in a day's time. And I'll show you what them end, cases ended up nice and dry, no marks or anything. Right, I've just brought some brass out here outside where the light is better. Um, in this case, it's 300 uh, Wisdom, which is a short, short magnum. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, just show you a view of the outside cases once they're done. And they're all like this. I've got a whole box full there, which is now going to be uh, loaded. Um, I'll just try and set the camera on, but I'll, do, I'll try it like this because the light is better out here. If you can see inside the actual case next, I don't know if you can see that, but um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but they are clean. There's no carbon in there. Hopefully you can see the prime hill. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll try. But I can see right down with the light above me. I can see right down inside the case, and that is brass all the way down, brass coloured, so that's clean. So, I mean, I'm well pleased with them, they come out well. Um, 
from what use I've had in the machine, I've got no criticisms of it at all. It's all positive, and that'll save me another process in the meantime of using it. I can tumble, and uh, I don't need to ultrasonic clean now at all, so it's all good. So that's uh, my review of the uh, stainless tumbling. So that's my review of the stainless tumbling media uh, tumbler from STM. I'll put links, as I say, I'll put the links up in the uh, website. Cheers, guys.